Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. Well, it looks like a beautiful afternoon. It's near 3 p.m. We've just brought the goats over, fed them all their bottles. But look at that. Now that was lots of thunder when I went to get the camera and white lightning running across the sky. That's coming in from the west. See a bit of blue sky up there still. But that is Welcome to the Philippines. Right, a little baby turkey still good with a, with a mother and a surrogate mother. The surrogate mother's the one who looks after mainly. Maybe she dropped the egg and the other one just looked after it. And when it hatched out, she took over. I don't know. But, fucking hot, mate. Look at the sweat pouring out of me. Look, look, my titties are all wet too. Wet titty. Wet titty. Well, chicks just called me. I was up herding the goats way up the back. I was just up with the tin shed. And, um,. Tick called me and said the guy's here to pick up his chickens. And if you remember rightly from this morning, he's the one who um, booked them for tomorrow. He's a regular buyer, buys them all the time. He says, no, you're free range chickens, plus you feed them. He said, they're very fat and tasty. So that's something to learn if you live on a fucking hovel, is if you have chickens, you have to feed them. And trust me, guys, free range them. Free range them. They just run around. Like, see, look, look at these guys, look. They just run around. They catch all the crickets and the little butterfly bug things running around. They just run around and catch them all, and they go all the way up through here. Look at them all the way out there. But they all come home overnight. But because he wants... That's a lot of thunder. But because he wanted them today, I said, mate, we'll try. He said, no, I don't want three, not two. I said, we'll try. Because it's fucking hard to try and get them, I tell you. You know, so... Um, what I do is I put the uh, tractor, I put the tractor over and I put some feed, loaded up the feed inside the tractor at 11 o'clock and um, I was able to get two in there that I could catch but um, one of them jumped out through a fucking hole. I want to put netting on it, that black netting. So I said to the chick, fucking Jesus, will you give me the money to go and buy some bloody black netting? And Stuff. She says, okay, Dolls. I said, oh, thanks, Dolls. You're wonderful. She goes, you yeah, I know, Dolls. So I'll get some black netting. I want to get that fucking done. And that way there's no holes in it, plus there's no mosquitoes. I can get the young'uns back in there again. So um, I ended up, we tailored one around the goat, around the um, chicken house. And I got Chick to block him off, and we pushed him in through the door, and I caught that one. So we got two for him anyway. And uh, I weighed him up, gave him to him. I think it was um, 800 825 pesos or something like that for the two chickens. So I said, mate, as always, we just drop it down. So said, right, 800. And I said, thank you. I said, it's only because you're a sexy bastard. You know, they don't understand me what I'm saying, so it's quite good. So uh, we got two sold. It's um, 400 pesos each. And uh, he said, I still want one tomorrow. So he said, all right, we'll get that tonight for you. But um, next time, please give us warning, you know. Give us warning. You know, it's, you didn't wake up... So I'd all go and have a crap this morning, you're sitting there saying, oh, fuck, I might just go and pick him up this morning instead. You know, you must have known yesterday or last night or some fucking thing. Just let us know so we can keep him locked up and catch him for you. It's not a problem. So at least they're gone anyway. But that's going to be frigging ugly over there, guys. Going to be ugly as hell. All right, so where's the gates near? Oh, well, they're up there. So Rico, the black girl over there, she's the mother of um, Brown Sugar and Black Betty. She's back on heat again. So, looks like the boy humping the last time, nothing happened. Maybe she got the wrong hole or something, you know. Three knots, not in, not out, not getting your money back, old sailor. So, um, he's been chasing her badly, so we've had to tie, tie him up. So we had to tie him up over here next to the feed tray. You see a rope on a tree over here. Because he chases her so much she won't eat. You know, and she'll only give him, she may have the, all the smell and she'll be on heat. And he'll be running around like, um, you know, like, oh, the Terminator, I'm oh, going to get you, bitch. But unless she's ready, she won't accept him. But um, so for two days she's been running around, no, 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 running around like a little bitch. Ah, he's trying to fuck me, he's trying to fuck me, ah. And um, today, she's all for it. So she's up to him, rubbing herself up against him, giving him the neck rub, saying, Hey, baby, you want to get some berry white music going together? Hey, baby. But why she didn't come, why she came on heat, again, I don't know. It's 
Well, I do know because she doesn't. She didn't get the job done. So the boy, I'm watching now. I want to see what happens with the other ones if they're pregnant. So if not, we've got a dud stud. We've got a dud stud. How the fuck do you work that one out? Seriously, so unlucky. Maybe it's just all that. The piggy didn't want to play the game, so maybe he doesn't want to play the game. All right, so while they're here, I'm going to go up the back and um, see if there's any avocados fallen. <sighs> oh, fucking excuse me, big yawn. But um, look, like say that's over there. That's the east over there. That's the north, and that's the west. That's looking ugly as hell. So that's north of Deval. Deval's over that way. Over that way. Over that way. Over that way. Back at you soon, guys. Right, time check update. It is now 3.45 and it's getting darker over here. So the goats have come over here and eaten. They've eaten all the way down through here. Now they're slowly coming back. They're all hanging around. The boy's looking after his bitch. He's keeping uh, the rock away from him. The rock's upset. He wants to try and get a sniff, but he keeps getting pushed back. But have a look at this over here. So it's sort of like come from there across. That is heavy holding rain. Heavy holding rain. God. So bloody hot guys, there's no wind, there's nothing. Nothing at all. Uh -oh. It's gonna come down soon. It's that quietness in the air. The temperatures just dropped. Tick, tick says he can feel the temperature drop. A bit of a breeze. I reckon it's gonna fucking piss down. Is that Sam going off? Yeah, I think he wants to go out in the bedroom. Why don't you um? Back in a minute. All right, then. No problems. All right, Tick's gonna go and let the dogs out for a wheeze before the rains come. But um, I think it's gonna come very soon, guys. Pushing a rock away. What's wrong, sugar? Your mummy's getting all the loving. No bottles, darling. You've had a bottle. Hard to see what it's doing, guys. It really is. Fuck. It looks like rain definitely over this way. What's up, guys? You finished already? You said stuff it. Don't want to get wet. Sugar, there's no more bottles. Sugar, no. Sugar, Lily. Lily, brown Betty, black Betty. Oh, she's pregnant, look at that. She's good. She's good. She's good. Let him stay away from my bitch. She's my bitch. No. You're not going up that way. Sugar, no. You're not going up this way. They said bananas, no. No. No means no. You listen to me now. You sit. Sit. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not a dog. I'll tell you what, if you were, you'd be in trouble. So I think it's going to be pissing down very soon, guys. All right, it's raining up over here. All right, these girls are all waiting back. Let's go. Hip, 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 hip. Hip. Come on, sugar. Come on. Come on. Jane. Jane. Sh 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 boo. Hip. 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 It's going to come down for sure. Hip. Gates open. Go on. Hip. 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 Jane, come on. Come on, Jane. Come on, Jane. Come on, Jane. Oh, I'll get him in. It's definitely coming for sure. Well, it's been a good day up until now, guys. So um, we're going to say thank you very much. 
for watching us today on the farm. And um, I'm not happy, Jane. Got to get all my chickens done, turkeys done, pigs done. <laughs> oh, no lucky. Yep, so I've just got them in. Come on! Hey, get up, dogs! Sam, Polly! Move it, darling, it's gonna fucking piss down! God, they walk like they're on fucking steroids, you know, like. You know, look at it, it's fucking pissing down there. Take him inside. Polly! Where's Sam? Alright, there I go. Well, that was lucky, I tell ya. When I was talking to Chick, it was raining there at Mary Lou's house, big drops, but it hadn't even come to us yet. And she just got under cover as it was falling, going on to us. So now you can see it's piercing down with rain. But the goats are inside, they're all dry. The dogs are inside, all dry. So it's only for me to get dry now, running around the house, fucking looking for the bastards. Thanks for watching us today, guys, on the Aussie Farm in the Philippines. Hope wherever you are, you had a sunny day all day, not just like we have. So I'll sign off and say ta-ta.